You know, one of the most important things when you're riding harvesters this year, obviously, is to have a good story. What are you going to talk about when you're in a combine cab with that grower? There's so many things he wants to talk about that you don't need to talk about that aren't productive that you need to direct that conversation. So I'm going to give you a couple examples of questions you're going to hear all fall that he's going to bring up constantly because these are the most common things he's going to ask you. He's going to ask you things like, you know, what do you think the markets are going to do? What's your answer to that going to be? No one knows what the markets are going to do. So my answer is always, you know, I don't know. But where do you plan on taking your yields the next two or three years? What he asked you was a conversation that took you inside the circle that is not productive to either one of you. So we take him outside the circle right away and ask him a question that goes into his future planning for his crop, for his business. You know, that's, you know, that's a great question. We get that a lot. I don't know what the mar markets are going to do. Where do you plan on taking your yields the next two or three years? I'll let you go. Another question he's going to ask you, which is harmless, basically, kind of a fun question, actually. What do the crops look like in other areas? It sounds very harmless, doesn't it? And maybe it is, but it takes you immediately inside the circle. If you want to go there because you know how to get out, that's fine. I don't want to go there. So when he asks me that, he says, what's the crop look like in other areas? I'm going to say, well, you know what? It's variable all over. Where do you plan on taking your deals the next two or three years? Or there's lots of ways you can handle it. You might say, if he's got a good crop, you know, it's variable all over. Doesn't look as good as yours. But get outside the circle, make the comment, and ask him where he wants to take his business the next two or three years. Where does he want to take his yield the next two or three years? Get out of that conversation. He might ask you a question like, well, where are you guys priced this year? Because a lot of guys are concerned about financials. Where, is, where did your price go this next year? Well, you may not know. Or even if you do know, it's not time to talk about price, is it? So just comment. You know what? We'll be competitive. Where are you planning on taking your yields the next two or three years? And getting into this yield planning process, looking forward to the future. That's where you want to take him. Don't have a price conversation with the combine. Don't let him take you inside the circle. That's not where you want to go with any of this process. Another one you're going to hear a lot, probably more often than anyone else, anything else, is, you know what? It's too early to order. I don't even want to talk about ordering right now or do my cropping plan. I want to get my crop out first. What do you say to that? Because you're going to hear it. Here's my comment. He says, you know, it's too early, or I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to wait till after harvest to get my cropping plan together. First thing I'm going to say is, oh, that's no problem. You can do that anytime you want. I'm going to release him from the obligation of thinking I'm going to try to talk him into a cropping plan. I can't change his mind. He needs to change his own mind. So when I release him from the conversation, he allows me to, to go on talking about things I want to talk about. Because he will get into the cropping plan stage. He just doesn't know it yet. So my comment to him when he says, you know what? It's just too early to order. I want to get the crop out before I do anything in my cropping plan. And I say, you know, that's no problem. You can do that anytime you want. Where do you plan on taking your yields the next two or three years? You know, all the farmers we work with who have the highest yields every year do have all, one, all have one thing in common. They all have their cropping plans done before harvest. And the common element there is, it takes out the emotion. So let's talk about where you want to take your yields and what kind of plan you have to get there. Because that's what a cropping plan is. Have you ever done a high yield cropping plan? No, I haven't. Well, we have a cropping plan directed to high yield and that's what you want, isn't it? You want to take your yields up, don't you? Yeah, I do. All right, let me put together a plan. I'll come back and ride with you if that's okay a couple more in a couple days. Give you a rough look at the plan just for a few months in the combine and see what you think. But I'll tell you what, you're gonna like it. Because our plan is to help you take your yields up to levels you never thought you could take them to. Those are just a few questions and comments you're gonna get on a combine this year. We want you to be prepared. The most important thing is don't get on there and have a pity party. Don't talk about how bad the crop is and all the things you could have done. Talk about what you could have done. Don't make it a funeral talk. Well, if only we would have done this, if only we would have done that. No, put the plan together and show him what he needs to do in a positive way. Give him a look to the future. When they look to the future, their whole attitude changes. 
they'll solve a lot of your problems. Thanks for watching. Happy selling. I'm Rod Ostis.